Hey everyone, Techna here with the review of the Razer Viper Mini. And yeah, it lives up to its name. It is tiny. It is 118.3 millimeters long, 53.5 millimeters wide as far as your grip, 38.3 millimeters high, and all this coming in at 61 grams. So after listening to those dimensions right there, it is small, right? I mean, heck, that's the point here, right? It is the Mini. But comparing it to the older Viper, which I will do a lot throughout this video here, here, this one almost felt a little bit better to me even the old Viper or the original Viper right there it almost always forced me into that claw or that fingertip because the hump was very low right there this hump's actually a little bit higher and scooched back a little bit so I can bring it back here and really get a very very nice claw in now yes it is slender as you saw right there so my hand does kind of cringe over a little bit right here right kind of get the little dinosaur hands but again it kind of brings it in right here and that's the only thing that gets annoying to me is my fingers crunching down right there. But again, with that hump being in the back a little bit, my palm coming right back here and resting, it is a fantastic claw. And I honestly think that's one thing we all get too wrapped up in whenever we're shopping mice, right? And I get a lot in the comments. Hey man, what size is your hand? Or will my hand size fit that? And I think we need to step away from that a little bit. You all know me, I prefer a claw or a palm grip, right? I love Death Adder. I love that mouse, right, you know? So you kind of look at this like being such a puny mouse man, well heck man it's not gonna work out and that's completely wrong because take it as your play style or your grip style right because you get this guy again into that fingertip or that claw right there it is phenomenal now as far as performance right here we're using the 3359 sensor under there and like I stated in all of my videos I mean it is so hard to tell sensor to sensor you know you may think this is like a step down from the other ones going up to 8500 DPI let me tell you what it is perfectly fine and you cannot tell a difference from the Viper, the Viper Ultimate, or this one. Spot on, precise. Now talking about the build of the Viper Mini right here, let me tell you what, this thing is hands down, front to back, inside and out, stinking solid. I mean, you can take this thing, you can squeeze it, you can pinch it, you can shake it, you can bang it. There is no rattling, no creaking, no flexing, no nothing. This is probably starting to sound like a sponsored video, right? And trust me, Razer did not send this out to me. Razer, it sure would be nice if you did send it out though. On the bottom, we have PTFE feet, and let me tell you, these things stick out very nice, and they glide fantastic across the mouse pad now one little bummer on the bottom as you can see again Bigfoot on the bottom Bigfoot on the top but in the middle you just got this little plastic cover which is a real stinker I would have liked the foot in there because again when you're sliding on your mouse pad you do hear it scrape just very mildly so that's kind of a stinker come on let's put a pad right there now talking about the cable on this thing they're stating they're using the Razer Speed Flex cable but let me tell you what this one's quite firm actually I mean you don't feel it really moving around in there which is nice and everything and whenever you bend it it really doesn't move the mouse too much again it's fantastic to play with it's not bad but it feels very stiff compared to the original Viper wired what I would compare this to is more or less the cable of the Viper ultimate you know it just again feels quite stiff I almost want to slap my own paracord on it all right so now let's talk about the main thing that really excited me about this mouse and probably the one thing that I was really curious about and if any of you have been here for a while or watched any of my other Viper reviews you know what that's gonna be that is the buttons on this mouse. Number one, we're still using the Razer optical switches on one and two right there, 50 million clicks. And let me tell you what, these things are incredibly stinking crispy. I know a lot of people complained of the old ones on the Viper and the Viper Ultimate saying they were a little mushy. These things are incredibly crispy. I didn't mind the old buttons, but you can tell the difference between these and those right there. Now they did put the DPI button on the top right there, but it really doesn't get in your way. I actually go into Synapse, disable the steps right there, and just leave the one active on it. So it doesn't bother me one bit. Now again, they did remove the buttons on the left side right there, or the right side, there we go. They removed the buttons on the right side. So you still have the ambidextrous shape, but again, you lose the ambidextrous features there. Now, getting into the side buttons right here. Are they improved over the old ones? Yes. 
100% yes. And I don't know if that's because they removed the rubber grips on the side, but let me tell you, these things stick out perfectly. My goodness, I wish the regular Viper was the same as this because they are fantastic. They come out just a little bit right there, perfect position right there on your thumb. They are absolutely phenomenal. Now talking about the loss of side grips over here, I've heard multiple things. People loving them, people hating them on the regular Viper. Me personally, I love them. Minus them, you know, not working with the side buttons right there making it a little bit too flush. And again, I don't know if that's why they removed them here, but these sides are fantastic. Very grippy, a little bit of texture on them, almost like a PBT keycap. And you can tell the difference from say, like a smooth mouse or this little texture they have here. but it's a fantastic feel, again, in the hand. It's very grippy. The little texture right here doesn't attract many fingerprints or anything. Again, just incredibly solid. Now they did fluff up the mini right here with a little bit of RGB strip right on the back right there. And you still have that known Razer logo right on the back there. And the really cool thing, when we see mice like this coming in at a low price range and lightweight and everything, you kind of expect, okay, well they put in a little fluffy RGB to appease some people, right? You expect it to be heavy on the back, but it's honestly not. It's very balanced, honestly, just perfectly balanced. You don't feel too much weight on the front or in the back or mid. It's just absolutely perfect around the entire thing. Now you do have all the features in the Synapse software as well as far as your RGB. Now your logo in the strip underneath right there are as one. You don't get to control one or the other. And again, you get to put those five different steps with DPI right onto the mouse. Again, I put mine right down to the one. Now the stinker with Synapse as we see with all Razer products, and I say this in all of my videos, I think it's a real stinker that again, you can't save your RGB to those right there. It does save your DPI if you close out the software or just delete it, your DPI will be saved, but not the RGB. And me personally, I don't want, you know, blue, green and pink flashing on my mouse. So what I do is I just go in there and turn off the brightness, turn off the RGB, which it looks incredibly crisp like that and bam, it just saves and I never have to open Synapse again. All right, so wow, this video probably sounds completely sponsored, doesn't it? Trust me, it is not. This product is hands down amazing. Right now, before you even finish this video, go on and pause it, click that link down below right there. I got some affiliated links right in the description and you get this mouse ordered while you still can. Talk about the steal of the year right here. But anyways, that's my review on the Razer Viper Mini right here. As you can tell through the entire video, I love it. And yes, I 100% highly recommend it. So yeah, I hope I was able to answer any of your questions right here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.